In this video, we are going to take a look at 8 legendary Warhammers that can drop in the open world. So if you don't have money or you may be just looking for a really good Warhammer, then let's find out what can drop for us. Maybe there's a best Warhammer. So let's dive into the video. The first one is called Commitment. This is probably one of the best Warhammers that you can farm out of the bunch. But let's see what it has. It comes with Constitution, so a lot of people can use this. It comes with Renting Shockwave, Chain Void, and Enchanted. It's really good that it's Constitution, since a lot of people can use it, even healers if they wanted to. But you can find this from a mate in Shattered Mountain. So let's just go to the map. You can see in Shattered Mountain, there's a mate. Good luck farming this, since it's going to be really difficult. Probably going to need a group, since this mate is quite powerful. Moving on to the next Warhammer. This one is also a favorite, I believe. It's called the Black Guards Warhammer. This one comes with strength, thwarting strike, so you deal additional damage if you have active grit. And since you're probably going to go 300 strength, you're probably going to have that buff really, really good. Then it comes with keen and keenly empowered, so you can get that extra damage as well when you activate it with keen for keenly empowered. Really good Warhammer. This will drop from Tempest Heart, so the dungeon in Shattered Mountain. Just look out for this one. Really, really good as well, especially since it's so easy to farm. Moving on to the next one, Vine Woven Warhammer, that's really difficult to say, but this one comes with Constitution Strength, Enchanted, Keen and Keeny Fortified, and it drops from a lot of enemies. Good luck farming this one, because you will have to be really lucky to get this one. It just drops random in the world, basically. Moving on to the next one, Sacrosanct. This one will come with 30 strength, enchanted, life stealing, and chain ice. This will drop from an outpost rust cascade, so really difficult to get as well. But if you really want this, I guess you can grind a bunch of outpost rushes. Or if you see this thing in your inventory and it's not upgraded completely, maybe keep an eye out for this hammer since it's really not that bad. Two damage perks and some life stealing, really not a bad war hammer. Next, we all know this one, Fury. Fury is pretty good. It comes with Keen, Vicious, and Keen Empowered. You'll see a lot of people run with this, since it's not the best in slot one, but it's pretty decent. You can find this from Lazarus Dungeon. Now, moving on to the next Warhammer. Also, a lot of people use this Warhammer. It comes with Keen Fortified, Keen and Vicious. Also, drills with Strength, but you can farm this one from Genesis from the Blighted Keeper. So, that's the f basically these two Warhammers are very similar. One is just more damage focused and the other one is not. Moving on to another one, Demon's Bane. This one will roll with 30 Constitution, Rogue, Chain Void and Keen Speed. But good luck getting this one since it will drop from a lot of enemies as well. So, just an open world drop. You'll be you will have to be really lucky to get this one. And then a really good PvE one that is called the Entertainer's Mall. This one will come with 10 Constitution, 20 Strength, Sundering Shockwave, Kini Fortified, and of course Hated. So really good for tanks if you want to drag that aggro. And you can get this from Daisy the Dancing Bear. This is in Ebon Scale, I believe. And yeah, it's an Evan Scale Reach, as you can see. Just move down a bit. And you can go farm the bear. Just bring a team. There, I think there's like three bosses right there. So be careful. If you found this video useful, then make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to go follow me on Twitch, since I will be streaming soon.